Monsanto is perhaps a deserved whipping boy, but it should be noted that other biotechnology corporations sue farmers and that NMSU will likely hold the patent rights to the genetically engineered chili seed. When asked who will breed the chili seed or who will sell it, NMSU could not provide an answer. When asked if farmers would have to buy the genetically engineered chili seed for every planting rather than save it, NMSU could not provide an answer. One of our main concerns with, with the genetically engineered, engineered chili seeds especially is that it is becoming more and more difficult to find pure seeds, you know, seeds that are, that are, that are not, contempt, not genetically engineered in certain, well, certain varieties. For example, uh, canola and soybeans. I mean, it's almost impossible now to find non-GMO soybeans and canola. And what is happening is that the U.S. seed companies are actually going to other countries you know, that, aren't, that do not have the high incidence of genetically engineered crops to grow this, the non-GE seeds or the organic seeds for those, type, for those types of crops. A small number of biotech chemical companies, including Monsanto and Syngenta, have benefited enormously. One company now owns one-fourth of the world's seed suppliers and the patent rights on over 80% of the GM soy and cord seeds sold in the United States. They think that uh, genetically engineered crops are going to feed the world, they're going to end, uh, end world hunger. Those were the very same uh, statements that were being made about the Green Revolution 40 years ago. In fact, patenting GMO seeds has allowed for a culture of secrecy around research that threatens the transparency of public programs and reduces access to genetic resources.